You know, they say, don't they, that Christmas comes but once a year, and already in September, we're talking about this big event. It's a marvellous event for some people, but of course, for many, it can cause a lot of consternation problems. And that sort of thorny topic of who do you invite for that big day? You know, sitting around the Christmas table, breaking, of course, the wishbone, all that sort of stuff, setting the pod on fire, maybe finding the sixpence. We have some strange traditions, haven't we, when you think about it? But it all adds up to good fun. And mostly, of course, particularly on that day of all days during the year can add up to some blistering arguments too too much sherry in the trifle and so many things get said that perhaps didn't you know shouldn't have been said now this is the problem of course facing as one can imagine many senior members of the British monarchy and particularly when you read this particular headline this is of course regarding the Sussexes and apparently their well obvious invite to another side of the family let me explain Hi, good to see you. Thank you so much as ever for your time today. Nice to have your company on a sort of drizzly sort of period now in London. Believe it or not, this isn't as late as it looks. I know, what strange weather. I just read the other day, by the way, as well, that this time last year, we had 30 degree heat, six days consecutive days. I don't remember that, do you? If you were living here, do you remember that? No idea, I wonder where that went. Yes, another lost memory is frightening, isn't it? Now, another lost memory, perhaps for some, is the fact that for several years now, Harry and Meghan have decided not to partake in the offer of festive cheer with inside his family. As she famously said, of course, Harry lost his family uh, with that magazine, the New York magazine, The Cut, if you remember that. And it was a strange thing to say, wasn't it? Because as I said to you before, it's simply not the case. You know, it's obviously a case that suits them and suits her narrative, but clearly not. Now recently, as we know, when Harry popped over uh, for the family funeral, he decided to stay with the Spencer clan, his side of the family, of course, his mother's side, Charles Spencer, Earl Spencer, Althrop uh, Palace, or whatever you call it, Hall. A lovely place, I've told you before, been fortunate enough to go, know Charles myself, a nice man, I know he has his complications, but don't we all? But people, of course, want to bring out the negatives. Moving forward, it's fascinating to see this particular side of the story, though, because apparently, according According to this source, um, this is going to be where Harry and Meghan are going to be spending Christmas. Well, let me tell you the true story behind that. It's simply not happening, and for these obvious reasons. You see, the real deal is this. The bottom line is that Harry and Meghan really can't return back here to the United Kingdom because of his own actions. You see, the problem is, is quite frankly, that Harry has decided, of course, that the UK is unsafe. He's mentioned this on numerous occasions, and now this makes it almost impossible for him and Meghan to return. Now, that's not to say, of course, that there wouldn't be a sort of welcome from the Spencer side of the family. Clearly not. But what's interesting about this is, I can tell you 100%, that an official invite to this particular festive period has not been forthcoming yet. You understand. Now, moving forward, of course, what people are doing is simply speculating. And it would seem very bad course and bad manners if the Spencer side of the family were to invite Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, over for the festive season without clearing it with, of course, His Majesty the King and, of course, Queen Camilla. Now, you might say they don't need to, and that's absolutely true. But truly, the bottom line is it would just be, you know, natural manners and not wishing to offend. Well, at this moment in time, the bigger fish to fry is not necessarily about Prince Harry and, of course, his festive cheer this side of uh, Christmas. But really, the bigger problem now, the more thorny problem, is how is he going to get round his forthcoming 40th birthday? That is really more problematic because if he doesn't invite certain people or where he decides to have it, and this will be an absolute, well, major problem for him because it will go down in history as the party that wasn't attended seemingly by his father and his brother and senior members of the British monarchy or indeed close pals. And that's one 40th birthday that he may wish to, of course, not remember. But it looks more than ever that that is going to be the bigger problem rather than where to spend the festive season. Neil Sean in the very heart of a wet London.